Good day, everybody. Today I'm going to do an unboxing of the Vantrue E1 dash cam. They sent this to me to do a review on it. Comes in a nice box. It's well packaged. Broke the seal on it already to make it a little quicker to open. Okay, in the box, you get the dash cam, which has got a pretty good size sensor on it, and a remote control, and then the box of wires. Let's start out by showing you what, what comes in this box of the wires. Okay, USB-A to C plug. It's got a magnetic mount for the camera. That's, that's pretty nice. You can take it in and out pretty easily if you hardwire it in. And it's a little different than my other two Vantru products I have. This one here has a sticky tape that you stick it on the windshield okay in the box you have a tucking tool a little pry bar to put the wiring behind the molding and just a basic cigarette lighter plug so this oh it's also got a another USB A plug adapter on it so you'll have additional charging port and it's USB-C that plugs into the Vantru and it gives you an additional couple of sticky tapes that if you pull it off and redo it again then in the box is the camera and remote control I like the looks of the camera. It's a lot smaller. It's it's very well built too. It's a sturdy, compact. It has the three buttons on the side here. And if you see the size of the lens, so remote control that comes with it. And you can mount it on the dash or wherever you choose. It's easy to operate. Now, I, I just read slightly about this. I, I don't know much about it at all. I haven't done much with it yet. I know it takes a, I believe it said it was a 512 uh, SD card, which is a lot of memory. And in the box, you also have a nice size instruction manual user manual this this is far better than any of the other user manuals i've ever come across for dash cams look at the size of that thing and it's it's got all kinds of different different languages but the important thing is it tells you each individual little thing each little item how to operate it far better than any of the other dash cams i've dealt with so I'm impressed with that. <laughs> Not sure what these are. I'll figure that out. It's got two protective screens that are bigger than the camera are, so I'm not sure what they're for. I'll figure it out. Then obviously the little cleaning cloth. So hopefully this is good information to you, and um, there'll be further videos coming with the installation of the camera and then the use of the camera. I'm really anxious to find out how it does. Thank you for watching.